Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World View, and today we're going to replace the screen on the OnePlus 7T. So the tools you're going to need are going to be a PH000 bit, a flat razor blade, a playing card, plastic pick, and some heat. You also need some glue, as well as some clamps. So the first thing you want to do is use the heat gun, and you want to heat up the edges, mainly focusing on the bottom and the right and left side. And once we add a decent amount of heat, we're going to use a razor blade to kind of cut through the adhesive a little bit. And then we're going to get a playing card to cut through the rest of that adhesive. Starting with the bottom area and then working our way up each side. You want to be careful around the camera area because it is an easy place to crack the back glass. And obviously we don't want to crack the back glass. But pretty much what you want to do is you want to trim the edges of the adhesive like this. And eventually you want to lift up the back kind of on the top area. Once we take that off, we can remove all this adhesive while it's hot, or we can just remove some and move on to the phone like I did. Next, we want to grab the PH000 bit, and we want to remove all the screws on this little top panel right here. That's pretty much all we're going to need. We don't have to remove this bottom panel. And once we remove all the screws, we can lift up this panel really easily like this. And then we can start unplugging these cables that go over the battery, including the battery cable. Next, we need to take out this battery. We can use this little pull tab and it kind of comes out a little bit easy, but it kind of just does some weird stuff like this. Obviously make sure not to bend that battery and it should come out fairly easily. It's up to you if you want to keep this little plastic piece on here like I did. But either way, let's go back to the phone and we're gonna move this cable down like this and we're gonna move this other cable over here like this so we don't accidentally catch it when we are heating up the phone. And once we're ready to remove the screen, we want to start heating up the screen. You can kind of heat up all edges and then just focus on the bottom area like I did or focus on the top area. It doesn't matter, but I like to focus on the bottom area. And what you want to do is get a razor blade in there to kind of lift up the screen. So then you can get a pick in there to cut through the adhesive. If you are trying to preserve the OLED, you might want to use a playing card for this instead of a pick. But in this situation, the OLED was cracked, so I didn't really have to worry too much about that. Pretty much what you want to do is cut through the adhesive all around the edges, and then the screen should just kind of fall out. Once we do that, we want to clean up all the adhesive that is around the edges, just get rid of all the glue that's on there. I did this off camera. And once everything looks nice, we can clean this up with a little brush. Then we can feed the display cable on the new phone through this little hole right here, plug it in, and plug in all the other cables and the battery to make sure that it works. And it looks like it does, the battery was just dead on this one, so we can take everything back off, and we can start cleaning up the adhesive. I'm going to clean up the adhesive on the back as well, just because the way that we're going to put this phone back together is going to be a little bit different than normal. You can skip this and focus on what I'm going to do next. But I like getting everything all back together and letting it sit in one take. But if you feel like we're rushing it and you don't want to break anything or you don't want anything to glue incorrectly, feel free to just focus on the screen first and then focus on the back. But I'm going to focus on both at the same time. So I'm going to clean up all the adhesive because I am going to apply my own adhesive. But once everything's clean, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the glue and I'm going to apply it all around the edges of the screen. And once I do that, I'm going to feed the screen cable through the phone again, and I'm going to set it in place and make sure everything looks nice. Then I'm going to plug in that display cable to make sure that it does plug into the frame. And this is the part where you're going to put clamps in, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the phone back together. I'm going to put the battery back in, plug in all those cables, put this little plastic cover on the top, as well as all of those screws. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the back. You can use adhesive if you want, but what I recommend is using glue and just set it down. Make sure everything is flat and lined up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the clamps and we're going to apply about five on each side, one on the top and one on the bottom. Assuming everything looks nice, we're going to let this sit for about two to three hours. And then we're going to take off those clamps and we're pretty much done. All we got to do is just clean up the adhesive. Again, if you did focus on just doing the screen, you can put all the screws back in, put everything back on, 
slap that back on there and let that glue dry as well. And again, it's gonna be the same type of glue where it'll just be removed with a fingernail or just a finger. You don't really have to use any metal or anything like that. You can use some rubbing alcohol if you'd like, but I don't recommend using any metal. And once that looks nice, you're pretty much done. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or message me on Twitter. I get bored over there. And feel free to follow me on the social media listed above. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this, as well as some review videos. And hit that bell button so then YouTube reminds you when those videos do come out. Thanks for watching.